Well, October is Reptile Awareness Month here in Nebraska. Yeah, the idea of Nebraska Reptile Awareness Month started in 2020 as a way for the Game and Parks Commission to connect with the public during the pandemic. So joining us now with more is Monica McCubre, who is with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Thanks for being here today, Monica. Thanks for having me again. You bet. So let's talk about the goal or the aim of Reptile Awareness Month. Yeah, so it's kind of just a way for people to celebrate and be aware of our native Nebraska reptile species. And October is kind of that spooky month where people <laughs> kind of, um, you know, get together and talk about bats and spiders and snakes. And so why not uh, twist that and turn it and bring awareness and kind of celebrate those reptiles before they head into hibernation for the year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, how do we celebrate um, our reptiles? Yeah, <laughs> well, you can go hug a snake if you would like to. <laughs> you won't um, be doing that. I know I you can won't maybe be doing try that. To touch Something it, that's maybe not not as um, scary for some people would be to enter our art contest. So we have a Nebraska K through 12 student reptile art contest that we've held for the past three years. Um, so anyone that submits an original artwork of some of our native Nebraska reptile species, they get some reptile swag. So we want to celebrate them and thank you for doing that. We also have a bunch of fun events coming up at the very end of October here in Lincoln. We have a big scale family night. We're going to have a bunch of reptile displays and turtle displays. There's food trucks, reptile related activities for kids and families. So it's kind of fun to some come and celebrate and then um, Halloween and then you know it's November. So. Yes, right. That's right. really some impressive art. It yeah, is. It is. Yeah. And those are all Nebraska K through 12 students. So um, these are some that we've seen in the past and they have been amazing. Cool. What are some reptiles that we have here in the state that are well known? Yeah, so our ornate box turtle is actually one of them. We have a bunch of garter snakes that people see. We also have lizards. So um, there's 29 species of snakes, 10 species of lizards, and 9 species of turtles. Mm, okay, so you actually brought along an example of a friendly reptile, right? This I, is a f this to me. This one's friendly. A, this yeah. to me see well, they're all friendly, right? I would agree. I have to kind of get. <laughs> To that point. Past yeah. the snakes. Get past them. Yeah. 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 Uh, so this is our kind of our mascot, I want to say. This is Batman. He's an ornate box turtle. Well, look at his uh, head in there. Yeah. So <laughs> last year, um, our then governor, Pete Ricketts, actually proclaimed him as our state reptile. Uh, first time Nebraska's ever had a state reptile in our 155, six years as a state. So um, this is kind of our, our mascot now. So that's a good one, I would think. Yeah. He's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, his name's Batman. That's kind of a fun name, and uh, we take him to a lot of programs, and so you might be seeing him at some of our reptile nights uh, here in Nebraska. He's fun to watch. I mean, just how his head goes in and out like that. Yeah, <laughs> really so. Really and cute. these box turtles, you find them where in the sand hills i've seen them a yeah lot here. exactly sand hills are a great place kind of like that southwest nebraska area sand hill area um anywhere where there's really sandy soils and kind of in western nebraska gotcha. they're everywhere get a lot bigger yeah. this is about it yeah oh, so different. males are a little bit bigger females girls can be slightly smaller okay okay very great, good monica thanks yeah thanks for mm -hmm. having us you bet thanks for being here today <laughs>